In this example, we're going to use a contour map to estimate a partial derivative with respect to y. So to get started on this, we're given that we want to find the partial derivative with respect to y of 2 12. So let's first identify what is simply f of 2 12. All right, so not the partial derivative yet, just the uh, z value that goes along with this. So if I were to graph this, I'm going to go x-axis, we're looking at 2, y-axis, we're looking at 12, which fits somewhere here between 10 and 15. If I were to plot a point out here, we're looking at right about there on our graph. All right, so the contour mapping here, you can see that we have 140 is this line going across here, and 210 is this line going across here. So we're fitting somewhere in between 140 and 210. To estimate this, what we want to kind of do is say to ourselves, if we were to draw a straight line going straight across here, well, that's a total distance uh, change in elevation, basically our z values of 210 minus 140, which would be a difference of 70. So it's 70 uh, changes in between 140 and 210. Well, we want to kind of estimate where is ours with respect to that. It's bigger than 140, smaller than 210. So to help us out, what I'm going to do is just draw a line going across what I'm estimating to be about the middle. So that middle would be what? 70 divided by 35 uh, by 2 would be 35. So it'd be 35 more than 140 or 35 less than 210. However, where our point is, it actually looks like it's not halfway. It looks like it's about a fourth of the way across that gap. So I'm gonna say 70 divided by four makes 17 and a half. So to do our calculation here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say it's bigger than 140. It's approximately 17.5 bigger which makes this 157.5. All right, so, so far we haven't done the partial derivative, but we're getting there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of some of this information, like my line, I don't really need that anymore. So it's going away. My line going across there is going away. Let's focus next on, this is the partial with respect to y. So because it's the partial with respect to y, what we want to do is our x values stay consistent and our y values can change. So I'm going to identify a point above this or a point below this and use that ordered pair, ordered triple really, to calculate our partial derivative. If I go to the blue point that I put on the contour mapping at 210, that would correspond with f of two comma, I'm gonna estimate that to be right about 18 for a y value, is gonna be 210. If I went down below to the red dot, that one's a little bit easier to see, that's gonna be f of two 10, two comma 10, equals 140, the value of the mapping there, the z value coming out. All right, now partial derivatives with respect to y, really what we're going to be doing here is it's very similar to the slope formula. It's basically z2 minus z1 over y2 minus y1. Because remember, the y values change here, but the x values stay the same. I'm going to do both these calculations, but in both cases, what I'm going to do is we're going to use f of 212 equals 157.25, so this is going to be our y value. I'm going to use that as y1 and our z value, z1. All right, so the partial here of 212, we can calculate this to be, I'm going to go z2, y2, and filling into that formula, I'm going to go 210 minus 157.5 over 18 minus 12 is gonna work out to be 52.5 over six or 8.75. Now, if we use the red dot down below there, that would be my Y2 and that would be my Z2. That calculation would look like this. It's gonna be 140 
minus, again, our Z1 is 157.5 over Y2, which is 10, minus Y1, which is 12, which gets us negative 17.5 divided by negative 2. Two negatives divide out, make a positive 8.75. All right, so there you have it. We ended up with the exact same solution in both these cases. If I were doing this, we don't really need to do both these points, but if you wanted to, hopefully it's working out to be the same, especially with these nice linear mappings going on here. I would have gone with this closer point. We're going to get a little bit more accurate um, partial derivative if the points are close together as opposed to being too far apart. Plus, this one's easier to estimate, right? We're right at 210. Um, easier to pick out than that 218 value. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working on partial derivatives using a contour mapping.